Hey, my fellow fire signs, my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I hope you all had a fantastic week so far this past week and through this weekend. Any time for uh, self-analysis, I believe, is what we were called to do during our predictions for last week. I did, in fact, myself have some downtime and self-analysis, and I enjoyed it very much, and I hope that you have as well. So, for September 19th through the 25th, the new moon is on the 25th, and I'd like to also mention full equinox is happening on the 22nd. So, without further ado, oh, I've actually already split my deck. I can't speak. I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. So, we are going to be using the Light Sears Tarot. If you have not already figured that out, my very highly intelligent fellow fire signs. So, let's see what Spirit has to say for us for this coming week. Spirit, would you please provide divinely guided messages for my fellow fire signs the week of September 19th through the 25th. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'm feeling that one. All right. So, Monday into Tuesday. Ooh, so we have the Lover's card. That is a major arcana card. And it's a very strong love um, it's a spiritual kind of love as well, but it is a very universal love. So it's all about loving yourself, loving others, possibly a very deep connection with yourself or maybe with spirit or with another person. And so, hmm. <laughs> That is not very attractive, is it, for Wednesday into Thursday? And there's my Tucker B. So, of course, the Three of Swords is a heartbreaking or a breakup card, or it's just, it's not a really a very good emotional, situational card. So, now, keep in mind, my beautiful fellow fire signs... We are guided. These are guidance only, guided messages only. So I believe that we just need to look out for signs and we could, could can avoid the middle of the week message here as far as whatever is going to be going on between us, you, me, and our significant others, maybe, or those around us, maybe depending on how we handle an upcoming situation with the person that we love or a person that we love could determine how this plays out Wednesday into Thursday. And of course, this could be the other person involved in Monday and Tuesdays scenario. So with that said, let's move into Friday in the weekend. So the five of pentacles, it's, it's going to be not a great weekend if we carry on, I believe, in a negative fashion and not handle things appropriately at the beginning of the week. Now, with the five of pentacles, I call that my woe is me card because it is, things are not going great. Um, there are some negative things going on, but with this being the pentacles, this is about everything earthly. So we should be grounded. And if we take a close look, there's a key to this door. So if this young lady in this card lifts her head up and turns to the left, she's going to see that key 
And if she opens up that door, she's going to have other opportunities. So take away the woe is me and look for that sign. Look for that opportunity, that key, whatever have you. And get through the week. We can certainly tough it out. We are the wands after all. So we have a lot of drive, a lot of motivation. Just keep that in mind. So if something negative is coming up at the beginning of the week, just heed those signs and just remember how to compose yourself or handle the situation. Sometimes words do mean everything. They shouldn't, but sometimes they do. And words can hurt. Um, and this, the, with the swords, it's going to be a mental thing. So I feel like it's going to be the words is what counts the beginning of the week and into the middle of the week. And that's going to depend on your weekend. So let's have a great weekend. Let's keep some positive vibes going on. Speaking of which, I've got that already going on. My bumblebee Jasper here is a positive stone. So are these, but... We'll get into that later. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. Until next week, have a great week. Work it out, fellas. I love you. Bye.